Hello friends, welcome. Friends, those who are following the telecom sector and interested in Vodafone idea must have seen this headline. This headline says Vodafone idea's curative plea in the AGR case is scheduled for hearing in the Supreme Court on August 30th. Now friends, this is a very, very significant event. The investors in Vodafone idea must be closely looking forward to this hearing. Now friends, why I am doing this video today? The AGR case I have been following since, it in, since its inception. I have written various articles and recorded various videos. Those who are following me must have read those articles and listened to this video. But in today's video, I want to focus on a very, very simple issue. What is the likelihood of the success of this curative petition? Simple as that. And in the process, what I want to do is, I want you, you as a viewer, to go through certain documents, which are recent documents, especially Supreme Court judgment, so as to get a feeling as to what do you think is the likely success rate of this curative petition. Because if I tell you something, that is going to be mere conjecture. So I'm going to talk about what is the likely success rate of this curative petition. Now, if this curative petition is successful, how much is going to be the estimated reduction is the liability of Vodafone idea with respect to AGR. That also we are going to talk about in this video. Now friends, those who have no clue about AGR, let me give a high level overview because that will help those viewers who are new and who do not have any background about this subject. Now the full form of AGR is adjusted gross revenue. Now adjusted gross revenue is nothing but the total revenue which is netted out of certain duplicate entries which are passed through. Now the history of AGR goes back to 1999. In 1999, there was a settlement between the telecom operators and the government when the telecom com operators at that moment of time declared bankruptcy. The settlement resulted in the changing of structure of license fee proposed by DOT to the telecom operators to bail them out from the situation of bankruptcy. So what they said was that instead of fixed license fee, which was earlier um, structure before 1999, DOT said that from now onwards, we are going to charge a license fee, which will be a percentage of your total revenue. Now that total revenue is called adjusted gross revenue netted out of duplicate entries. Now, what happened was that only certain pass-throughs were allowed by DOT, which were very specific, for example, roaming, inter interconnect charges, etc. But the telecom companies basically got aggrieved because they thought that there is a sizable portion of their revenue which is non-telecom in nature and those should also be excluded from the calculation of total revenue and should be netted out from the total revenue to arrive at AGR. So that was the primary dispute on which this case was fought since 2002 and till date when the final judgment came out, which was recently the judgment was, okay, judgment came out on, uh, uh, actually the first judgment came out on the year 2019 and then the subsequent judgment in, year, in, in September 2020, which laid down the calculations on which the uh, the penalties and uh, the way, uh, which laid down the calculation on principle on which the interest payment and penalties were levied and that was that resulted in the outflow of the major telecom companies like Vodafone Idea and Bharti. So friends, at the time when the judgment came out, the outflow of Vodafone Idea was, was, the, was tuned towards to around 58,000 crores which included interest and penalties. So what we will do is in this video is we will go through some of the judgment, the recent judgment, which will give you a flavor as to what is the likelihood of the changing structure of the principle on which the interest and penalties which they calculated, how much is going to be the AGR liability of Vodafone will get reduced. So that's the whole purpose. So let's go straight to the 
next part of the uh, the uh, the web page which I want to show. So there there is an article which got published recently, uh, which actually not recently on 9th of October at the time when the curity petition was filed. Uh, attempt was made and the curity petition was filed. Uh, this was on 9th of October 2023 by Vodafone Idea, where a number was was spelt out. As I told you, right, if you see that in this article, now the total liability of Vodafone Idea was around 58,000 crores and Bharti was around 43,980 crores. And Vodafone Idea's own estimate was 21,533 crores. I wanted to show you this number. So this basically says that this number of 58,254 crore, 2, crores will get reduced to 21,533 crores. That's the whole, you know, uh, it looks like that if Vodafone Idea has estimated 21,533 crores, so there, there is a like, and if the security petition is successful and this is allowed, then the liability will get reduced to 21,533 crores. Now, why would it get reduced and what is the main contention? What is the main argument on which the curative petition has been filed? So, let's look at that. For that, what we have to do is that we have to go through this judgment, this order of Supreme Court and this is a recent order and the order date was uh, 23rd July 2021. Now, what is this order? This order and why I am showing this order? Because this order is of 2021. Because the judgment came in, two, uh, two, uh, the, uh, the initial judgment came in 2019 and then the final AGI due got finally, uh, you know, nailed in 2020 Supreme Court judgment. And this is of 2021. The reason this judgment came out, because when the judgment came in 2020 of Supreme Court, let me show you that judgment first, then only it makes sense, this judgment will make sense. So if you look at that judgment, this is the judgment, and this judgment actually had a table. Look at this table. This table says that the amounts recoverable from the major telecom service provider as per preliminary assessment. So this table resulted in this number of 58,234 254 crores for Vodafone Idea, Vodafone Group and Company. So look at this. This is the Vodafone Idea number. So this says preliminary assessment, right? So what happened was at the time when this whole discussion was going on, a DOT came out with a preliminary assessment. Now Supreme Court was in an impression that this whole case was getting lingered on for a long period of time because as, as I told you, this case started in 2000. Uh, two, and it kind of got lingered on for almost like 15 to 20 years. The Supreme Court said that, look, we are no longer going to carry on forward with this case and we are not going to let the operators wiggle out by making further plea of recalculating these numbers. So they are saying that, look, though we understand this is a preliminary assessment, but we will not allow these numbers to get re-verified because we believe that re-verification of this number is going to be an excuse that the telecom companies are going to play, you know, place before the Supreme Court to further extend this case, not to pay these dues. So that was the whole purpose of Supreme Court nailing the preliminary assessment number. So what Vodafone Idea and others did, they said that, look, we are not going to reopen the case. So let's look at this judgment, this judgment or order, which is dated uh, 23rd uh, July, 23rd July 2000, uh, 2020, uh, yeah, 2021. So this is the date, date of the order of Supreme Court. And I'm going to read out some specific portion from this order. So if you look at this, the order of of, of uh, the, or the initial order, which is on first September two of September first September of 2020, to this order, this had a clause 38, and this clause contained all the requirements which the operator had to meet. So every time, whenever you see, they will basically find reference to clause 38 of the first September 2020 order. Now, what this this judgment this particular judgment says is that. In this judgment, you will see what the telecom operator is saying. 
So Abhishek Sinvi submitted that that there are some errors committed in computation of AGI dues in a in a miscellaneous, miscellaneous application filed by the telecom operators and that the main plea was double counting. So Vodafone Idea said that we are fine or the operator said that we are fine, we are not going to reopen this case, but we would like the calculations of which the DOT did in the, their preliminary assessment, which is the preliminary assessment to be rechecked because we believe that this 58,254 crores number is not correct. It has to be substantially lower because DOT actually has done some double counting. So this is what the plea was in this in this uh, petition, the miscellaneous application which they filed and it was represented by uh, Dr. Manu Sinbi, Avisek Sinbi and he said that, you know, we believe that there was some double counting and applications uh, and what and ma the argument was that applicants should not be made to suffer for certain calculation errors made by the Union of India, right? And it was also said that it was made clear that the para 30 were, 38, there are, there shall be no, real, so, so, so the judgment, the judge saying that para 38, if you look at the para 38, if you see here, this para 38, which is, uh, so here is only the para, para 38. So here you will see, there is a reference which says that there will be no reassessment. So uh, if I go down below, let me just see. You can yourself see here because I have not underlined it, but just be with me. So this para 38 said that there will be no reassessment. Now, since there will be no reassessment, the court is saying that there will be no reassessment, but the council on behalf of the operator said that if the calculations mistakes are not corrected, it will be a traversity of justice. Justice, if the applications are permitted to get, uh, get uh, permitted to get arithmetic errors in computation of not permitted to get arithmetic error, errors in the in the computation of AGR get rectified. Right. So that was the main plea here. But here in this judgment, the judge did not agree. They they. The judge says that there is no room for any doubt from the perusal of para uh, 38.1 that of the judgment of 1st September 2020 with respect to this court entertaining any application altering the AGR dues of the TSP. So this is the final uh, line and therefore it says that for the F above mentioned reasons, the miscellaneous applications is, are misconceived and therefore dismissed. So, the Supreme Court did not allow a miscellaneous application which was filed by the telecom operators for correcting calculation mistakes to pass through and they had uh, nullified and, and dismissed that petition. So, then what happened was, after this was dismissed on, 20, uh, on 23rd July, 2021 further applications were made which I showed you in this article. So this article basically said that there was some filing which took place in the Supreme Court again and you will see that if you read this article because I don't find I have not found any any document which can uh, you know corroborate this uh, article which says that let me read this which says Vodafone Idea has filed a curative petition uh, in the Supreme uh, uh, petition of the Supreme Court judgment that has been dismissed by the telecom company seeking correction error of errors of adjusted gross revenue paid by them. The plea was mentioned by Hari Salve before the bench of uh, our Chief Justice and other judges. The court says that there are some arithmetic error in this curative uh, plea. Salve said the CGI then asked how much time it will take and Salve said it will take one day and therefore that curative petition was allowed. That's all. That is as simple as that. And I think that is what is going to happen. So whatever Vodafone Idea is claiming that they, their number is going to go reduced by uh, from uh, 58,254 to 21,533. If that happens, there will be a significant reduction. But it may not be that much, but there will be a substantial reduction. It goes without saying. Now let's look at the annual report. The annual report, this is the latest annual report of 2023-24. So if you look at this annual report, 2023-24, 2023-24, in this annual report, you will be able to see Vodafone Ideas overall debt. So in this debt, you will find that the 58,000 crore has been blown to 
सेवेंटी थाउजेंड करोड बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया गेव वोडोफोन आइडिया सर्टन डिफॉल्ट पेमेंट सर्टन मोरिटोरियम फॉर द पेमेंट ऑफ देयर लाइबिलिटीज बिकॉज ऑफ द टेलीकॉम पैकेज सो वॉट हैपन वॉज दैट फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड करोड हैज नाउ ब्लोन आउट ऑफ प्रोपोर्शन टू सेवेंटी थाउजेंड करोड सेवेंटी थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन करोड सो दिस इज द नंबर सो आउट ऑफ द टोटल डेट ऑफ वोडोफोन आइडिया the deferred payment obligation in pursuant to agr judgment is a substantial amount so let's do the calculation what is the number of the total government debt it is 2028 let's divide it by no no let me just do 703 divided by 2028 it comes out to be 30 35% so look at that number 35% now let's assume that this number because if i if you go uh you know you look at this article this article says that the vodafone initial calculation was 21533 crore divided by 58254 so there is a reduction of how much uh, uh so this number is uh, is uh, around 37% of the total number right so the reduction would be 1 minus 37% so there will be a reduction of how much so 1 minus 37.37 so there will be reduction of 63% so 63% if the number goes redu reduces so let's go again to the annual report and multiply this by 7 uh, what is the number 703 multiplied by 0.63 so that number will now come out come down to from 703 it will come down to 4 uh, 422 right so that's the number i know i think i have done some calculating calculation wrong i have i am committed a mistake let me just do the calculation again so this is not going to be the number let's do the calculation 21533 divided by 58254 which is a uh, 0.3 uh, so let's take it 0.37 so 0.37 means so let's multiply this uh, not this num not this let's multiply uh 706703 multiplied by 0.37 so this number will now come down to 260 right so that's the number so this number because the ratio was 0.3 point 37% so you multiply this by 37% so this number 703 should comes out to be 260 which basically means so there will be reduction of how much The reduction will be seven three zero seven three zero multiplied by minus two six zero. So there will be reduction of roughly around fifty thousand crores. So fifty thousand crores of debt will get reduced. So this number will go down by fifty thousand crores, right? So that's the the net net of this video, which I wanted to kind of explain to you. Um, you know. Uh, uh that what will be the impact right if this number goes down to an estimate uh, to to a level which vodafone idea has estimated because their interest payment etc everything is going to be proportional decrease if the calculation errors are are removed and netted out so thank you friends for your for your time i hope that you have you understand what the implications are the implications are significant and that will further help vodafone idea to restore themselves and become healthy and uh, that will further enhance the competitiveness of the market so it is going to be good for everybody every citizen of india who is looking towards deserving competitiveness of the telecom industry thank you very much friends i'll come back to you with a new video next time